Hello, in this short video, I'll be going over how to set up your matrix in Ableton Live to run launchpad projects. So let's get started. You'll need to be in performance mode to use your matrix for launchpad projects. So let's go over the performance mode action menu. After you enter performance mode from the app launcher and press the matrix key in the center, you should see something like this. This is the performance mode action menu. Here you will find all settings related to performance mode. The button up here in the top left is flicker reduction. Enable this if your lights seem to be stuttering or lagging. In the top right, you can enable Unipad compatibility. You won't need this enabled if you want to use the matrix in live. In the center, you can change the brightness, like this. You can tap and hold to change the brightness with a slider instead of a cycle. The green outline around the brightness setting can adjust the orientation of the matrix globally, like this. The top green line, or the green opposite to the purple, will clear the lights if they ever get stuck. This yellowy greeny button can make it so that you have to hold down the matrix key to open the menu, instead of just a tap. This white button will take you into system settings. And these purple keys emulate the touch bars. The top row is the right touch bar and the bottom row is the left touch bar. If you want to leave performance mode to go back to the app launcher, just hold down the matrix key while in this menu. Now that we've gone over the menu, you'll need to find your project file and unzip if necessary. Open the .als file to open the project in live. Let's get a rundown of the average launchpad project. When you first open a project, it should look something like this. The samples and lights tracks are usually named appropriately, so most of the time you can tell via track name. But if you are unsure, you can check by clicking on the track and looking for either an instrument rack or a MIDI effect rack. If there is an instrument rack, it means that this is the samples track, and if there is a MIDI effect rack, then it is the lights track. Now with the project rundown out of the way, we can get started with the setup. Head up to the top left and press Options, Preferences, and then Link MIDI. If you're on Mac, go to Live, Preferences, and then Link MIDI. Find your matrix in the MIDI ports list. Enable Track and Remote on both the matrix's input port and output port, like this. Once this is done, you shouldn't have to do it again. Let's get into configuring the project file itself. First, you'll want to find your input slash samples track and set your matrix as the input, like this. Then, you'll want to do the same for your lights track, only this time, doing it on the output as well, like this. Make sure the matrix is set to channel 2 on the output. For more advanced users, channel 1 will use the mat 1 palette. Lastly, we need to remap the pages to work for the matrix. There's two ways of doing this, either through the performance mode action menu or using the touch bar. Let's start with the action menu method. First, press the MIDI button in the top right and click on the audio slash samples track. Enter the menu and click on macro one. Press this button and while holding it down, press this button. It should say 1 slash E6 colon B6. Do the same for the lights track, like this. Make sure the mappings on the left of your screen have the minimum set to 0 and the maximum set to 7. Now disable MIDI mapping mode by pressing the button in the top right again. If this is done right, then you should be able to use your touch bar or the buttons in the action menu to switch the page. You can also map the pages using the touch bar instead of the action menu by doing the same thing but pressing the top of the touch bar and the bottom of the touch bar at the same time instead of the buttons in the action menu. Hopefully this video helped you with your setup.